Hey everybody, welcome to Mining Modern. I'm Corbin Hausler and this is our Devotion to Green deck, also known as Genesis Wave Devotion because I wouldn't be playing this as if it wasn't for Genesis Wave because that card is a lot of fun. One of the most fun cards of Magic, I think. Uh, three green and X, look at the top X cards of your library. Put um, uh, any of them into play that are permanent with converted mana cost X or less. So uh, that's, a, that's a lot of fun stuff. Anyways, our opponent, um, possibly on Burn here, says they're a big fan of the series, so that's awesome. Thank you. Hopefully he's uh, still a big fan after we crush him with Mono Green Devotion. Ooh, I don't know what our opponent's up to, actually. Double Fastlian Favorable Ones. All right, some sort of flyer deck, okay. Well, I get to E-Witness back something here. I guess we're just going to E-Witness back the birds. Although maybe I just want the land since we have this other birds. It might be correct just to take the land here. Alright, so next turn we can play Garrick and the bird. And I guess sort of go from there and see what happens. Um, Garrick seems like it's not going to be great if this is a Lingering Souls. Ooh, a Mantis Rider. All right, Jet Sky Freedom Flyers. I remember this deck. <laughs> Played it for the 4th of July. Well, this doesn't seem great for us. Yep, that doesn't do much. I guess it's Bogs and we have a second one. Hmm. We're basically just trying to survive until we hit a big Genesis wave. So I might play it just for the fog. You know, I suppose alternatively I could create a 3-3. Three, three. Hmm. Why not? It's not the best thing ever, but we could attack... It, because Garrick's going to die regardless, and the difference is having birds, but we have enough to play Primal Command anyways next turn. Um, so I assume our opponent kills Garrick here. Next turn we could attack with the Beast, and when they block, we could then bounce the favorable wins to the top of the library... Uh, which would also kill the Manus Rider. Of course, our opponent could also just counter spells or spell quellers or lightning bolts, and you know, it's all pretty bad for us. All right, well, at least it wasn't another haste creature, I guess. Thing beats down fast, though. All right, well, Spellcaller can't hit Primal Command, so we do have that going for us. Um, well, we just took it. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Needed that play to go a little differently. Um, and I think I play the E-Witness. It, it is indeed a Spellcaller. All right, I think we're pretty dead here, but we'll see. One has two cards in hand. <laughs> Judge is familiar. That's actually pretty, not the worst. And a vapor snag for our birds. Wow. So we now we need to land off the top. Ah, oh, I can't catch a break today. All right, good game. What do we have against Jeskai Flyers, huh? Lightning bolts, please. That's about it. <laughs> Prime Command is not bad, actually. I'm kind of prime time, though. They're pretty slow. Uh, I like Corsair for the value, but we probably don't need that many of them. I think we can probably cut the Oath of Nissus here. Um, Scavenger News seems meh. Ancient Grudge, no. Crumble Dust, no. Relic Regenitus, no. So we'll give this a shot. We just want to go off and cast a big Genesis Wave, because Genesis Wave can't get uh, spell quality. So, you know, we, we have a game plan. See how well we can execute it here. Uh oh, our opponent's going deep on the sideboarding. That can't be good for us. All right. I would like to play first, though. 
Although not that it helped me much last time. All right, well, I guess this is fine. Um, we have the turn one mana accelerant. We have the e-witness for land. Um, if we find a utopia sprawl, that'd be great. We have the win conditions. I just don't want to get lightning bolted every... Oh, gosh. All right, well, here we go. Hopefully we can draw land on turn three. It's going to turn out to be pretty important. Our opponent's got a nice curve here. Utopia Sprawl, not the same. Confirmed very slow, actually. Pretty bad for us here. Definitely had to draw it one turn late. Because <laughs> that's, uh, man, been one of those nights. Not everything's been recorded, so you haven't seen it all, but it's been one of those nights. Everything is just one mana off, one turn too late. All right, the, the Mantis Rider beatdown begins. So we continue to not find land. All right, E-Witness for our land here. Okay, well, Primal Command will gain us a bunch of life. Um, and that might just be the plan. That might just be to, to gain life and then get it back with Eternal Witness. Um, take away his draw set for a few turns, etc. That might be the best thing we have going for us. And playing around spell caller as best as possible. Alright, we hit a land. That's pretty good. Great, actually, because it means we can put that plan to work right now. So I'm probably pretty clearly sitting on spell caller. And by that, I mean negate. <sighs> okay. Really can't catch a break. We play around Spell Queller and he has negate instead. Down to six already. Manus Rider is quite the beatdown. Okay. Well, um, I can't play around Spell Queller now because it just kills us. So the only thing we can do is play this Corsair Crucifix and uh, hope. And given our opponent's four cards in hand, all right, it's a good start. Puts us to seven. I mean, we're so dead to Spell Queller. But if our opponent doesn't have Spell Queller or Lightning Bolt, um, maybe something good can happen. Clearly, they have... Oh, okay. That's some value on killing our Eternal Witnesses, that's for sure. But that might not matter. Um, okay. What is this? Oh, he's got the Lightning Angel. So we die anyways. Okay, well, that, like I said, that's a... Uh, can't catch a break tonight. But either way, opponent's deck was sweet. Um, maybe our deck could cooperate just a little tiny bit more. That would be great. But, eh, say lobby. Thanks for watching.